Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my perfume collection. I've never done this video before, but I'm in the process of doing like collection videos. I know that my makeup collection is highly requested and that is coming very soon. And this was actually really requested as well. I posted a picture of like a perfume on Instagram and a lot of you said to do a perfume collection, so that is what I'm doing today. I just filmed um, lip swatches on the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, and I don't know, like I just did that right now, I don't know if that video is going up first or this one is going up first. I think that one is. So that is why I'm in the same getup. I just kind of like picked up my hair because it was in my face and changed my lipstick. <sighs> I don't know where I was going. Oh, I know where I was going with that. If it seems a little dark in this room, it's because it is. It's um, almost 4.30 and I had filmed a video already today so the sun is going away but let's just bear with it. So before I start this video I kind of have to give a disclaimer as with so many people do in collection videos. There are two types of people in this world. The type of people like my sister who has like one signature scent. My sister wears Chance by Chanel every single day of her life and that is the same perfume she's worn for like 10 years and that is the only perfume she has. She goes through it like water because it's the only one she has so she repurchases it all the time but that is her signature scent and every time anybody is wearing Chance I'm like you let like I, I just you know there there are people who like that that signature scent like my go-to nothing compares and then there are people like me <laughs> who have a crap ton of Perfumes. I love collecting perfumes. It's something that I really, really love. I don't talk about it very much, but I love having a different scent for a different occasion. There are certain perfumes I only like wearing during the day. Certain perfumes I only like in the summertime. Then there's other perfumes where I love for special occasions. Others that just remind me of winter. You know, I am that kind of person that likes to smell different all the time. Just certain occasions, I guess. I think that I do kind of have a signature scent in one of these perfumes because it's the one that I wear the most, but I'll get to that. So yeah, so before you're like, wow, that is ridiculous, that is way too many perfumes, I'm very much aware that it is way too many perfumes for anyone to own, but it's something that I love. I love the bottle, I love, I love so many things about perfumes, you guys have no idea, it's like a passion. It's pretty ridiculous. And recently I just purchased like two new perfumes that I love that I just want to talk about. So if you guys are annoyed by people who like a lot of perfumes, then click this video, exit out, because it's going to annoy you. Okay, so wow, that was a lot of rambling. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm not going to go in any particular order, except for the first two. The first two I will be talking about are my all-time favorites. The first one, though, is my all-time favorite perfume ever. None of these other perfumes compare to this one, and this is from the brand Gucci, and it is called Gucci 2. I'm going to read the notes off of my phone, just because I feel like perfume collections are so pointless, because... You can't smell the perfume here with me, so. <laughs> so I got all these notes off of Fragrantica. I don't know how to say that website. Fragrant, Fragrantica.com. <laughs> so the top notes are black currant, mandarin orange, cassia, red berries, bitter orange. By the way, there are a couple of notes here that I cannot pronounce for the life of me. So I will have every perfume in the description box with their notes. Just so that you can read it and maybe you can read better than I can. The middle notes are peony, blackberries, violet, freesia, and jasmine. And the base notes are musk, helotrope, helotropy, oh. and cedar. This smells like heaven. I don't know how to explain the scent. I honestly don't think I've ever smelled anything like it. It's very fruity. Very, very fruity. Those are my favorite kind of perfumes, um, like the fruity ones. But it does have a little bit of floralness in there. Just very, very, like mild it lasts forever on my skin that is one thing i look for in a perfume is if it lasts on my skin everybody's skin is different but when i wear this perfume i still if i put it on in the morning i still smell it at nighttime it's intoxicating like really intoxicating and i get complimented whenever i wear this perfume to me this is like a fall and winter scent but ugh, i wear it in the summer too it's probably one of those perfumes that i think is perfect for every time of the year and any time of the day. I do not like the bottle. I am very big on packaging when it comes to perfumes and I don't like it because this weighs about 50 pounds. I could kill you with this. Like if I throw this at your head, you'll die. 
let, let a robber come into my house. This is the first thing I will grab. My second favorite perfume in the history of the world is Victor and Roth's Flower Bomb. This is a very, very popular fragrance, a lot more popular than Gucci too. And for good reason, this is fantastic. The notes on this are, the top notes are bergamot, tea, osmanthus. The middle notes are jasmine, African orange flower, freesia, rose, and orchid. And the base notes are musk and patchouli. I love perfumes that have patchouli in them. Patchouli to me is very, very... It's also very intoxicating and I feel like it lasts on the skin and it just, it smells expensive. Patchouli smells very expensive and a lot of very expensive perfumes have that in it. This is the most expensive perfume I have ever purchased in my life. This thing costs so much. Danny got it for me for our anniversary. That's why it looks like it hasn't even been touched. This is a very floral perfume and I typically don't like floral perfumes but it's it's like floral with something else. I don't know how to explain it. To me, it's like a sweet floral. This is the perfume that lasts the longest on my skin. It does last a little bit longer than my Gucci too, even though this one is very long lasting. I can put this on today and I will smell it next week. Uh, that's very dramatic, but it lasts ages and I still smell it on myself after I'm wearing it for like eight hours. It's incredible. This is like my uh, special occasion perfume. Um, so is my Gucci one, but I wear it whenever I want to feel like. Okay, and the rest come in no particular order. Okay, so this next one is also very popular and it is um, Viva La Juicy. This is my favorite Juicy Couture perfume. They have a bunch of different perfumes, but I only like the Viva La Juicy ones. The top notes are Mandarin Orange, Wild Berries. Middle notes are Honeysuckle, Gardenia, and Jasmine. And the base notes are Amber, Caramel, Praline, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. I definitely smell like the Sandalwood and the Jasmine and the fruitiness to this. It's very fresh. This is the kind of perfume that I like to wear during the day. Like I would just spritz this on my body during the day and I just love how it smells. I think it's such a pretty perfume. It's not like sexy or anything. It's pretty and girly. This does not last on my skin though. I love it so much so I keep repurchasing it. This is like my fifth, my fourth bottle of this guy. I constantly repurchase it because I think it smells so nice but to me, on me, it doesn't last. I get like four hours of it and then I just like don't smell it anymore, which kind of stinks. But again, I love the bottle. I think it's beautiful and I love the way that this smells. By the way, whenever I do apply perfume, I apply it to um, like the sides of my neck, like behind my ear, um, to my wrists and to the inside of my elbows. You want to hit all your pressure points. And if you are wearing a dress or a skirt, I definitely recommend spraying perfume on the backs of your knees. That's another pressure point. I know that, that seems extremely weird, like why would I spray my knee, the back of my knee with this? But I'm telling you, the pressure points on your body warm up the perfume and they just last longer in those areas. Um, so I definitely recommend that. So the next two are also Viva La Juicy. This one is Viva La Juicy Noir. And this one I love probably a little bit more than the original. And for some reason on the website where I'm looking up the notes, this had like the exact same notes of Viva La Juicy. And don't get me wrong, they smell pretty similar, but I could definitely tell a difference. Like if somebody's wearing that one and someone is wearing this one, I can definitely tell them apart. I like this one because it's a little bit sexier, it's a little bit more nighttime than the original and it lasts longer on my skin than the original. So I love it and I love the bottle. It's This one is amazing. And then I have this one. This is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I'm almost out of this one. And the notes for this one are wild berries for the top note. The middle note is jasmine and honeysuckle. And the base notes are amber, caramel, praline, sandalwood, and vanilla. They have the same base notes, but the middle and top notes, this one has a little bit less. And honestly, this one to me smells identical to the original. Like identical, only a little bit deeper. Just like a little bit deeper. I don't know why that's the vibe I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting. And it lasts a little bit longer than the original as well. The next perfume is pretty recent to me and I've been wearing it non-stop. This is a perfume by Giorgio Armani and it is called C. This one has a gorgeous bottle. I love the bottle and I wanted to pick this up because I heard Makeup by Ali talking about this. She like hauled it in a video and when she held it I was like, hmm, I'm intrigued. I really want to smell that. 
And when I walked into Sephora, I tried it on my body, like they had it on display, I sprayed it, and I was with Danny, and I was just walking around the aisles, and Danny kept on telling me like, you smell so good, like you smell so good, you smell so good. So I was like, man, I do smell good. And I ended up buying it. The top notes, all it says is Casis, Cassis, I don't know how to say that. The middle notes are Freesia and Mayrose, and the base notes are Vanilla, Patchouli, and Bruxin, and Wood. The Ambraxin, I don't know how to spell, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I googled Ambraxin because I had never seen that in any of my perfumes, and it's actually really cool. Uh, but just google Ambraxin in perfumes. This is definitely a sweet perfume, but it isn't candy sweet. I don't know how to explain it. It's a very grown up sweet. For some reason, I know this sounds really weird, but I smell like vanilla and wine. Like, <laughs> that's really weird because that's not like a note or anything, but it smells like wine to me, but like a sweet wine. I'm not making sense. I would say it's a long wearing perfume, and it's definitely one of those perfumes that people notice. Like Danny kept on saying like, you smell so good. He said it was like following me. So my next perfume here is from Katy Perry, and it is the perfume Meow. I love this bottle. I'm not like a cat girl, I'm a dog girl, but I love this bottle. I think it is so cute. And to me, it looks like Mewtwo from Pokemon. Do you know who I'm talking about? Mewtwo? No? The notes for this one are the top notes are Jasmine, Gardenia, Tangerine, and Pear. Middle notes are African Orange Flower, Honeysuckle, and Lily. And the base notes are Musk, Sandalwood, Amber, and Vanilla. I definitely smell the vanilla. I smell, I smell the Honeysuckle and I kind of smell the Jasmine. It's a very sweet vanilla perfume, but it has like the honeyness to it. It's a very, very pretty fragrance. This is like an everyday fragrance. Again, I wear this during the daytime because it's not really intense at all actually and I typically don't like celebrity perfumes like Justin Bieber perfumes and like I don't like perfumes made by celebrities because every single one that I've tried except for one that I have in my collection doesn't last on my skin this does not last on my skin at all it was actually really inexpensive and I definitely would repurchase it because it's an inexpensive perfume I get a lot of my perfumes at perfumania.com and usually they have like a BOGO going on or they have perfumes discounted I will leave it down below I buy a lot of perfumes on that website but I have to spritz it multiple times throughout the day because it just doesn't last all that long. I get like two hour wear of this, I'm not even joking. But I just, I really like how it smells. I think it smells so nice for day to day and I love the bottle. Okay, so my next one is actually another close favorite of mine, like I love this one. And it is from the brand Jimmy Choo and it's called Jimmy Choo. This perfume is very unique to me, like very unique. The top notes are mandarin, orange, pear, and it says it has like green notes whatever that means. The middle notes is orchid and the base notes are toffee and patchouli. I love it. I love patchouli in my sense and I love the toffee. I smell the toffee in this. Like it smells, oh my god, I can't explain it. This smells sexy. Just pure sexiness and warm and just I don't know how to explain it. I definitely recommend you go out and smell this. It's gonna be a perfume you either love or you hate because it's that like unique and intense that you're either gonna love it or you're not. It lasts a really long time on my skin. It's one of those long wearing perfumes and it's very intense. Just a couple spritz and I wear this at nighttime and every time I wear it, even like five feet away from me, someone's like, girl, what is you wearing? And I'm like, Jimmy Choo. My next one is probably my third favorite of all time. I said that this was in no particular order, but I love this. This is from the brand Aqualina and it is pink sugar. Um, I wear this perfume like every single day. This is the one I was talking about that might be my signature scent. It is a very sweet perfume. Very sweet. The top notes are orange, fig leaf, raspberry, and bergamot. The middle notes are red berries, lily, licorice, and cotton candy. And the base notes are musk, vanilla, and caramel. Very sweet. One of the notes is cotton candy. I don't have any perfume with that note in it. It smells like straight up cotton candy. Sugar and cotton candy. And I know that a lot of people are so turned off by it. This is one of those perfumes, again, that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate. But I'm not even joking that this is the perfume that I get complimented the most from men when I wear this. Like, every time I wear this perfume around a guy, they're like, wow, you smell so good. For some reason, men are very drawn to this perfume. Out of all the perfume that I have, Danny says that this is the favorite. This is his favorite. He loves when I wear pink sugar. Guys just, for some reason, really like it. And even though it's cotton candy-y, I don't feel like it's like, ew, you smell sticky. 
You know what I mean? It's not like gross, in my opinion. So this next one is very, very, very special to me. It is from the brand Gucci, and it is called Gucci by Gucci. It's called Gucci by Gucci. I love Gucci. It's probably my favorite perfumes to go to. Gucci makes so many good perfumes. Guilty is amazing. They have so many perfumes that are so good. It's my favorite brand when it comes to perfumes. But anyway, let me tell you a little story about this. So this is the first perfume Danny ever bought me. He actually bought it for me on our first date. And I know that seems like, whoa, that's a pretty big gift for a first date. But we had been talking for a really long time when he was in Afghanistan. But on our first official date, he purchased this for me so that I can wear it. So now every time I smell it, I think of like when me and Danny first started out and it just hits close to home. It's probably like my most prized, most treasured perfume out of all of them, but it's the one that means the most to me. Anyway, this perfume is so incredibly hard to find. Danny, I actually ran out of it and I actually have the original bottle that he got me like on a shelf on display because I love it so much. I don't want to throw it away, but he actually purchased this for me last Christmas and when I opened the box, I was like, because it wasn't this perfume. It was Gucci Premier, which has the exact same bottle. Like if you've ever seen Gucci Premier in store, it's this bottle but completely gold. And they're two completely different perfumes. So he saw the bottle, just thought that they changed it to gold and thought it was the same perfume, but it isn't. So we looked for it everywhere and they didn't sell it anywhere. The only place that I found it was Perfumania and it was like the smallest bottle. By the way, I have a thing that if I buy a perfume, I have to buy the full size, like the 3.4. It's like a weird OCD thing of mine. But anyway, so we only found like the small version of this at Perfumania and I couldn't find it anywhere else. But they actually sell this on the Gucci website. I'm scared that they're gonna discontinue it. This one I cannot find anywhere and it's my favorite. I can only find the smallest one at Sephora.com. I can't even find that one on the actual Gucci website. But anyway, back to this perfume. Sorry about that really long story, but the top notes are guava and pear. The middle notes are tiare flower. And the base notes are patchouli, musk, and honey. I definitely smell the patchouli, the musk, and the honey, and the guava, and the pear, I think. This is a very different perfume for me, but it smells so sophisticated. It's very sophisticated, it's sexy, it's dark, and it smells just very smart and empowering. That's how I can describe it, empowering. I feel like super sophisticated, empowering women wear this. I don't know. It smells amazing. If you can get your hands on Gucci by Gucci, not Gucci Premier, just Gucci by Gucci, I highly recommend smelling it. It's very different and it's it's great. This video is getting so long, I'm sorry. My next perfume is by a celebrity, but this is the only celebrity perfume I've ever tried that actually lasts on my skin. And it is by Jennifer Lopez and the perfume is called Miami Glow. I love this perfume. It's one of my all-time favorites as well. I don't have anything like this. I actually just repurchased this bottle because it was on sale. I still have my other one. It's like about down to here. This is unlike any perfume that I own. It's a very tropical perfume, very tropical. I only wear this during the spring and summer, mainly in the summer because it smells like an island getaway. It's called Miami Glow. I love I love that it's Jennifer Lopez because you know she's my favorite and I love that it's Miami Glow because I'm from Miami. The top notes, are passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit. The middle notes are xylamin, I'm not even gonna pretend to pronounce that, xyclamin, cyclamin, I don't know, orange blossom and heliotrope, and the base notes are amber, musk, and vanilla. I definitely smell like the coconut milk in this. It smells like coconuts, like a fruit and very fruity. It smells like, do you like pina coladas? I'm getting caught in the ring. I spray this on and I'm like, Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. It's tropical. And it actually lasts a really long time on my skin, surprisingly. And I find that it smells, it just smells so good. So my next one is one of the recent ones that I just bought. I told you guys that I bought two recently. And it was, and it's another perfume by Victor and Rolf. So this costs an arm and a freaking leg, but it is bonbon. And, uh, Guys, I went on a mission to get this perfume, but I could not find this perfume anywhere in the United States. I was like a mad woman online trying to find this perfume. And I actually tweeted about it not that long ago. And two of you guys 
actually told me that it was at Saks Fifth Avenue and one of you guys linked it to me. So the link that you sent me, if you were that girl who sent me the link to this perfume, I immediately bought that when you sent me the link. I had never smelled this perfume before and I purchased it online and it was the most expensive perfume I have ever purchased in my freaking life. And I literally took a risk. I was like, I'm gonna buy it. I really do not recommend you ever do that. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't, I will never do that again, buying your perfume without smelling it because perfumes are very personal, you know what I mean? So it's, I, I went for it. I just went for it. Simply because it is Victor and Roth and this is so special to me that I wanted to try bonbon. I love the bottle. It's shaped like a bonbon, like a candy, which is, bonbon is like candy in um, Spanish, a bonbon. Yeah, no, it is me, boom, 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 boom. Anyway, <laughs> the top notes are mandarin, orange, orange, and peach. The middle notes are caramel, orange, blossom, and jasmine. And the base notes are guayac, wood, sandalwood, amber, and cedar. You can see kind of like a trend with these perfumes. This is a very sweet perfume. It's like the complete opposite to Flower Bomb, which this is very floral. This is very sweet. It's like their take on the sweet perfume. I was pleasantly surprised when I opened it and smelled it for the first time that I actually did love it. Thank the heavens above because, I mean, I would have returned it, but ugh. This is sweet in a different way. It's like, reminds me, they're not similar at all, but it reminds me of Giorgio Armani in the sense that it's sweet, but it's a grown-up sweet. It smells a lot like caramel. This has a very strong caramel scent immediately, like very caramel. If you are not a fan of caramel, do not buy this. It smells very caramelly, but very fruity as well. And it's just like a sexy sweet. And when you first spray this on your body, it's like very intense and you really, really smell it, but then it gets very soft throughout the day. This does not last as long as Victor and Rolf's um, Flower Bomb. This lasts like 10 months on the skin. And this has like a moderate lasting power. Like it's very moderate because I guess it's like a soft, sweet scent. So I, ugh, it's very expensive and it sucks that it doesn't last as, as long as Flower Bomb. That's why I didn't mind paying so much for a perfume that would last that long. But it smells so good that I'm kind of conflicted. But yeah, I love Flower Bomb so much that I have this guy right here. This is the Flower Bomb Hair Mist. I bought one specifically for my hair. Okay, so I do have two more to share with you guys and then I'm done. I am so sorry that this video is so long. I have so many perfumes and a lot of them look like they haven't even been touched. I do wear them. I wear them every day. I am someone that I feel like I need to smell good 24-7 and I put on perfume every single day. The next perfume I want to talk about is from the brand Escada and it is called Moon Sparkle. Escada is one of those brands that they come out with limited edition perfumes all the time. So all their perfumes will be limited edition and then they'll just take them away and they come out with new scents a lot. And it sucks because if you really love something you can't get it again. But Moon Sparkle came out like in 2010 and you could still find this. I actually purchased mine at perfumania.com. It's the only place where I found it and it was very discounted. Like maybe it's going to get discontinued soon, but it was very, very inexpensive and it smells amazing. The notes for this, the top notes are black currant, citrus, wild strawberries, red apple. The middle notes are freesia, sweet pea, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes are sandalwood, amber, musk, and raspberry. This is a very, very fruity perfume. Like, it's very fruity. And the reason why I purchased this, I actually went to California with Danny recently to visit the LA Girl showroom, and Vanessa, the girl that kind of, like, took us everywhere, was wearing this, and I kept asking her over and over, like, what are you wearing? You smell so good. And she actually showed me the bottle. She's like, oh, it's got a moon sparkle. And I could not stop thinking about it the entire time. I knew that I had to have it. It's amazing. It's, it lasts forever on the skin. I didn't think it would last as long as it does, but I put it on in the morning and I still smell it at nighttime. It has great staying power and it smells kind of like intoxicating. I'm telling you, the whole time I kept smelling her, I was like, holy crap, she smells phenomenal. So last but certainly, certainly not least, I have Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is probably my favorite perfume bottle ever. This one is another really recent purchase and I feel like I've already dented it because it's amazing. The notes for this, the top notes are orange, mandarin orange. I feel like a lot of my perfumes have orange in them. 
Um, orange Blossom and Bergamot. The middle notes are Mimosa, Jasmine, Turkish Rose, and Yang 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 Yang. And the base notes are Tonka Bean, Patchouli, Apropanex, Vanilla, Velveteer, and White Musk. This perfume smells really beautiful. Like I have no other way to describe it besides like beauty, beautiful, and feminine and gorgeous. It's very, it's a very feminine fragrance. It's citrusy, but it's also floral. It's like a both citrusy and floral. And I'm not a big fan of floral perfumes, but I love this one because of the citrus tone, like the citrus notes in there. It's very fancy. Like I'm telling you, it's. I mean, it's Chanel, but it is very fancy. I love how the like the perfume is like this really pretty like pink color. The bottle is just so classy. It's a very classy perfume and. This is one of the most long-wearing perfumes ever. These two are my most long-wearing perfumes. They both have the same lasting power. This will last forever on my skin. And it's one of those perfumes that I put it on and I, and I smell it all day. Because there are some perfumes that are really long-lasting, but I'll like stop smelling them after a while. But this one, I smell it from the moment I put it on to the moment even after I take a shower. Like, I take a shower, I go to bed, and I still smell it. It's super long-lasting, which is something that I love so much in a perfume. It's definitely one of those special occasion fragrances, like weddings and anniversaries and stuff like that. Okay, guys, so those are my perfumes. I actually have these three right here that are like my travel buddies that I love. This is Gucci Guilty, and I love it. This one is Lancome La Vie Is Belle. This is actually pretty new. A subscriber sent me this, and it's amazing. And Versace's Bright Crystals, it's another favorite of mine. Danny's mom actually got me one, like a full size. She gave it to me, it was hers, and then she gave it to me because she didn't like it. And I loved it, but I already ran out of it. Leave me a comment down below with your most loved perfume so we could talk about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!